What's up, everybody? And today we're going to be looking at Dorian Morris Adventure, a coaching game from the developers at Forest Light Games. Will the secrets of your missing grandfather be finally discovered? Who is your friend and who should you avoid? What is the mysterious book of knowledge? Do you really know who you are and what is your destination? God, so, so many questions. It's kind of like foreshadowing something. But before we delve into this review, this is the first week of me doing this little game giveaway. Uh, something to give you guys as a thank you for all the love. And the game for this week is going to be Little Miss Fortune. Led by her new friend, Mr. Voice, Miss Fortune ventures into the woods where mysteries are unraveled and a little bad luck unfolds. A wonderful point and click game that has little horror elements and funny moments. If you want a chance to win this game, just make sure you're subscribed and comment down below just roasting me. And I want the best that you guys got. At the end of the week, I'll randomly select a winner and let you know next week if you won or... I don't know. I'm still trying to figure all this out. <laughs> you can comment on the other videos this week as well for more chances to win. But let's get back to Dorian Morris. You play as Dorian Morris, if that's not obvious enough. You follow the tracks left by his grandfather, who was a famous traveler. Through your adventures, you will solve puzzles and tasks that have this competence analysis mechanism weaved into it. The story, honestly, is hard to follow, and I can't really explain it. The game was made by a Polish team with English translations, but halfway through the game, its main storytelling aspect reverted back to Polish, so I can't really touch on that too much. It's not the main aspect of this game though, but I will touch on these irregularities in a moment because there was more to this problem. Dorian Morris is mainly focused on you and the answers you provide to the questions, and the way you handle the puzzles throughout the game. The puzzles in this game are a delight, uh, a Caesar cipher that honestly, in all honesty, I feel like is not fully implemented, but it's still good. Conflict analysis puzzles, elimination logic puzzles, memory puzzles, and a few other. All that really push your mental fortitude, and I honestly really like them. I'm always a big fan of these logic puzzles, and the ones in this game are fairly tough. Now, the questions, the best way I can explain the questions is think of when you finish a resume online. I don't know if people outside the US have this, but the question surveys you have to do at the end is what these remind me of. They ask yes or no questions and number valued questions to kind of understand you. These are tedious, no one really likes to do these, and you really rush through them. But if you are curious about what this game may give you as a suggested profession, really take the time and evaluate each one to get the best results. I kind of rushed my answers, but I tried to answer the best I could. And after finishing this Scantron, the game will tell you what you may find as a pleasurable workplace. Mine told me a library assistant, and I'm not sure if that's true. But again, I rushed and maybe it would have given me something different if I would have taken my time. Overall, it's an interesting game and concept, but the flaw in the game is its translation. Not really the writing, but the format. Words collide with each other, they're slightly out of place on the screen, so they're kind of hard to read, or they're still in Polish. This of course will be changed, hopefully soon, but while I played the game, it made it just a tad difficult for me. The puzzles and questions as well are quite tough, and looking at the game you might think it's meant for all ages. But someone younger than someone in high school or secondary school for people outside of the United States will not be able to play this and may lead to some poor financial decisions of possibly getting this game. But we'll just have to see if the audience reviews says anything about this. So if you're a big fan of logic based puzzles and kind of want to see what your profession may be at the end, kind of like a BuzzFeed questionnaire. It's a great game for $9. This is really though going to be a game that tends to a small crowd, but I applaud the creativity and I don't know very many games that are like this. And that's what I like about indie games. 
always pushing in a different direction and making things we would never think of being a game. So if you guys want to check it out, the link is going to be down in the description as well as a link to the discord. And thank you guys for watching this video all the way through. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like. It lets us know if we're doing something right. And subscribe if you haven't already. We're always looking at a whole bunch of new and unique indie games that you may miss. But like always, guys, I'll see you in the next video and have fun.